On a rainy day two years after the march on Washington, Martin Luther King visited King Street, South Carolina. And I come to ask you to go all out to get every Negro in this county registered to vote. For historians studying the Civil Rights era, this clip is extremely important. And it would have been lost forever if Columbia's WIS television had not donated it to USC's Moving Images Research Collection. The clip is one of millions of scenes that are on the shelves of Merck. The collection was founded more than 30 years ago when 20th Century Fox gave the university the raw footage from its movie tone newsreels. There are certainly, there have been many aha moments in the history of this archive. Collections director Heather Heckman says the film canisters were labeled, but it still takes research to figure out the historical significance of the scenes. We have one film in the Fox collection called Airmail Service Starts from St. Louis to Chicago. And, uh, you know, the description of the film that came from Fox just says they load up the plane, fly away. But it turns out that the pilot was Charles Lindbergh before he was famous, uh, and somebody recognized him in that piece, you know, so it's become sort of an iconic piece of footage for us. Archivists handle the film with gloves to convert it to a digital format that can easily be edited. Some of the film clips have less historical significance and are of more interest to film buffs. One of my favorite pieces is this piece called Children in Central Park, where the cameraman, for reasons that are completely mysterious today, is coaching kids to fake laugh. <laughs> uh, and we don't know why. Uh, and it's just, it's, I think it's completely delightful. The collection has also started taking in home movies. It's a document of at least a certain slice of American culture. Um, and this footage can be very meaningful to documentary filmmakers, for example. Uh, believe it or not, Ken Burns frequently uses our home movie collections in his films. Um, one of the more exciting examples is we have the home movies of a family from the Northeast called the Adams Family. And uh, they actually shot footage in a basement speakeasy in the 20s, uh, so that was used in his Prohibition film. So whether it's Star Trek's Captain Kirk riding in a Columbia Christmas parade, or highlights from the 1973 Carolina Clemson football game, spoiler alert, Gamecocks won, these small slices of life in the 20th century will forever be preserved at USC. And I hope that your hobbies will make of you all most useful citizens.